Hi, this is David Yak, and in this short video, I wanted to highlight one of the new PowerFX features for being able to read near field communication or NFC tags. You might be familiar with these. A lot of the cards that you get from hotels and things like that are actually NFC tags. You can also buy on Amazon. I just bought a pack of 50 for less than 10 or $15 of tags that you can write a custom value to. And these are stickers that can stick on to something. So if you want to do some type of inventory or other thing like that, you can use that to have custom tags that you, you write to. And what you can do with the read NFC function is you can read that tag from a mobile device. So you might be doing inventory or looking up a customer ID or any type of logistics scenario would be feasible with the read NFC. Now I created a quick little application that I wanted to highlight how this works. It's just a simple function. I'm doing a collect on it into a collection called tags. Each of the reads will come back with four properties on that object that's added to the collection. RTD stands for record type definition. Currently, only text and URI values are supported right now. And you'll notice that theme as I go through some of the support that the read NFC has. There are some limitations you should be aware of. The TNF is a tag type name format. Only well known is supported at this time. Text will be the text value from the NFC. And then URI is a URL. You'll see that in my example, I have encoded on my tag that I read the URI for 365.training. Now let's give this a run in the browser and see what it does. It's going to give me an error and it's going to tell me that the read NFC is not supported in the web browser. To test this, you have to get out your mobile app. So let's do that. Let's jump into the mobile application and see how this runs on our phone. Now I'm over here in my mobile device and I wanted to show you what these NFC tags look like. They're just little stickers and I mean they're about the size of a quarter in US currency. And I actually have two of them sitting on the table in front of me. And one of them I have encoded some stuff on using a mobile app on my phone to write the data to the tag. And the other one, I, I actually don't know what it has on it. I don't believe it has anything on it. I think it's blank. And what we're going to do is go ahead and jump into our app and use that to see what the value is on each of these tags. Okay, so we have the application running and I'm going to go ahead and click the read NFC tag button and you'll see it launches a little bit ready to scan to kind of guide you through what to do and it wants me to just hold this near the tag and you can't see that but as I do that it reads the tag and it turns out that the first one I did is the one that I have encoded with the 365.training URL and it picks up the value from that. So let's go ahead and try reading the tag on the other tag and see what we get. It looks like tag contains no data, so we're not going to get any values. And that's something you should be aware of. You always want to check the payload for blanks using the is blank before you go accessing the values. Obviously, you can do a bunch more with logic around this than I have in my simple app. But as you can see, it's really easy. I just hold this next to it and it reads the value. That's how easy it is to use the new PowerFX read NFC function.